that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a stone was brought and laid open. Oh, then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. <laughs> Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. Oh. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, <laughs> and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Oh. <laughs> then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting, neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went from him. <laughs> Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of the lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. Oh, my God hath sent his angel and hath shut the lions' mouths, uh, that they m have not hurt me. <laughs> For as much uh, uh, as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Ouch. Now it looks like that those in authority, ouch. <laughs> state legislature, mm-hmm. He just wouldn't enforce the laws of the United States. Well, it, it is such that you write these laws, and then when it was time to enforce them, you wouldn't. Now I'm just needing to know what individuals thought that you could issue court orders using forgeries, <laughs> fraud, and you wouldn't enforce the laws. You thought, well, this one, he's going to have to go to a mental institution. Now, I wasn't in Brennan, Washington, and I wasn't in Squim, Washington. <clears throat> I sent you an email, <clears throat> but you didn't want to enforce the law because you just could not admit that you refused to do what you have sworn. <laughs> now, over the last year, yes, I've been emailing about my sons being abducted, who taken from me while we were living on Guam, but you wouldn't reverse your court orders. <laughs> Once you sign a court order, you never reverse your court order. You never do it! Now, it seems that the king at that time didn't think about Daniel and the actual God that he worships, because I do actually worship God, but it's not one of these, oh, I'm going to go to church and lift my hands. <laughs> it's more of a, well, God, somebody decided to put the ass on me, and now I'm really hot. Hot. Well, you just won't reverse your court orders, will you? <laughs> Once they're signed, you never have to reverse the court order. You're going to throw me to the lions? You're going to take my inheritance from me? You're going to refuse to enforce my custody rights? You won't acknowledge any wrongdoing? <laughs> because you're in a position of authority that you never, ever, ever have to reverse. Oops. Everyone has to have a bee on them, don't they? Mm. Because the assholes have to decide. <laughs>